Hello everybody, this is Bill from Little Airfoils with the fourth build video in the Franken 40 laser build series. And in this video we're going to be going over the electronics box. Now I think it's time I say the old warning, disclaimer, uh, what you do and if you get yourself killed is not my fault. Uh, this is for entertainment purposes only. Um, so please be careful because the K40 laser will kill you if you give it a chance. Uh, now with that out of the way, um, a lot of people talk about grounding this and that. Uh, yes, ground, check all your grounds, uh, scrape paint if you have to. Um, is it necessary to ground to a ground rod outside your house or outside your window? Or wherever your laser is not necessarily uh, if you go to Amazon or Home Depot or Lowe's and buy a an electrical receptacle outlet checker um, it will tell you if you have problems um, it, you should get the uh, two right lights lighting up and that means you're correct then you don't need a grounding rod um, if it says you need a grounding rod, I would check your grounding throughout your whole house because your house should already be grounded, especially if you live in the United States where they observe um, city building codes. Uh, anyways, without any other talk about that kind of stuff, uh, let's dig into this. This is the outside of the box. Uh, if you've seen the last videos, uh, this is stock. K40 power switch. This is not stock. This is my uh, temperature uh, gauge. Um, this is not stock. I replaced it with a 10 turn. Uh, this is a stock K40 setup right here. The test fire, the lock, and the milliamp meter. Uh, let's rotate her around. The fan is stock. Um, Let's see, the uh, electrical, uh, the fused electrical uh, inlet is stock. Um, let's go inside. Should be a little rough one handed. Uh, let's see. Hang on a second. There we go. Okay, here we are inside. Here's the stock equipment, the stock wiring going all the way down. The only thing I removed was the uh, two outlets that are in the back. I put in a Levington uh, um, outlet. Uh, there's the stock fan, stock power supply. Um, here's the stock wiring. Um, this is new wiring. This one here is the power to the temperature sensor and the other one is the probe. It comes out of the panel in the back, which I'll show you here in a second. Um, there's your uh, Cohesion 3D board, all wired up. Um, I have a 90 degree uh, USB adapter that's mounted with screws in the back panel. I need to bring the power supply in, the stock power supply. I'm going to come in uh, through the back right here right underneath the USB. There's a spot back here. I'm going to drill and put it in. Um, I put some silicone hose over the high voltage wire, which there will be a link for this. I replaced uh, the end here. I got six foot of high voltage wire that I used uh, to run to the laser tube. Let's see, uh, the wiring is, like I said, it's set up stock because I'm using the stock power supply. Use a lot of the stock equipment. Um, I had this thing running with the stock Nano. Uh, I was going to use uh, the same system I have here for uh, hooking up the laser. Uh, right here. Except for this is for a nano board, and this is for a co cohesion 3D board. Um, here's the outlet cover I had to make. 
because the one that comes with the outlet uh, just doesn't work it's too wide but the power or the 24 volt uh, stock cohesion power cord will plug in right here um, right here is the uh, USB ground this ground here right oh, there you go this ground down here this goes to the cabinet okay so the cabinet is grounded this is grounded through this outlet right here the fused outlet um, these are grounded through the fused outlet I'm also grounded to a GFCI outlet on my wall which is the beginning of all my circuits in my house so every socket is affected by it so every socket in essence is a GFCI socket I don't need my hair curled uh, let's see but this is about it um, then the next uh, video we're going to have all the connections going from this box or these connections here from the electronics box to the um, uh, the laser enclosure and on the laser enclosure um, cutting the high power wire and I'll supply you a video with the uh, uh, how to do it um, it's a very very good uh, video it talks all about doing all kinds of tubes and the safety concerns um, I used all the or the cutouts for the uh, box here um, I did with a tool from Harbor Freight it's a nibbler there's a link below um, the electronics box was got from uh, Har uh, uh, Amazon uh, there's a link below there um, the oh I have a 3d mounted uh, or 3d printed um, board mount for the cohesion it lets air on the bottom side keeps anything you know from touching the bottom uh, it's a quick print so uh, that's in my thingiverse link so I'll have that down below um, if you have any questions or need any additional information or more detailed pictures of, about my builds uh, please feel free to uh, comment below and I'll try my best to assist you uh, also if you could uh, do me a favor, uh, like, subscribe, and hit the notification uh, bell uh, so you won't miss out on my next build video. Alright, have fun, stay safe, um, explore your talents, and don't be afraid to try something new. See ya.